been involved in agriculture all my life. It's always been my love and been uh, especially privileged and uh, considered a, an honor to be able to work in agriculture all my life. Fifty-seven years of my life, I've been associated with this piece of property. I had uh, and lived here for about forty-five of it. Every man needs a rock. My rock is, is Laura, uh, my wife uh, of thirty-five years. Has put up with a lot of stuff that that, that that I certainly appreciate, and has always been so supportive of me and everything that I've done. I wouldn't be where I am without her. That's certainly the truth had an opportunity to raise four kids here, and I can't think of anything any more uh, grateful than to be able to raise the kids in the same house where I had an opportunity to be raised. When I think of that tradition, and when we get our family back together at Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, it's nice to look out this back door and look out the front and see the same property that I got to grow up on, but also my kids did. When I think of the farm, I, I, I always go back and think of Dad and Mom and the, the uh, example that they set for me in regards to work ethic, in regards to getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning and going out as a, as a, as a young child, really seven, eight years old, with Dad to, to feed cattle, uh, learn how to rake hay at about the age of nine or ten. And, uh, I, and when I get on the farm now, that's what I think of. I, I look at places where I can still see my dad uh, operating a tractor sometimes, and, and I think about the great memories that it provided. And you cherish those memories. And uh, I'm, I'm just very grateful and blessed that I have those. We've been in, in business for, uh, I guess, 43 years. Uh, my mom come in to buy a pair of boots for my dad on the farm back in 1976 and bought the store. Dad says most expensive pair of boots he ever bought in his life. And, uh, and this is Lars gig. She, uh, she runs the store and, and uh, we uh, probably carry about every kind of boot known to mankind and of course all this uh, clothes and stuff too, but, but uh, it's just been a family business. I'm honored and very privileged to have an opportunity to work with, with Farm Bureau, to have an opportunity to work with those individuals in a different capacity than I've had in the past. I'm excited about it. I think the future is bright. Whether it's lessening the urban-rural divide or whether it's finding ways for our young farmers to, uh, to be more productive, whatever it is, those are things that we need to work on that we're going to go forward with and that we're going to be successful with because of the people that we have, the volunteers that we have in this organization that take the time out of their busy schedules to see that the future is brighter for those individuals that are, that are coming behind us. That's important to me and I know that's important to Farm Bureau. I thank you so much for that opportunity. <music>